Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 4th through January 10th. We're just going to see what comes up. Now, keep in mind, not every reading is for you. This reading may not be for you at all. Take what resonates and leave the rest. The timing is still fluid as well. So, what do we have for Aries for the week ahead? What do we have for Aries overall energy, please? Oh, we got two. Justice and the devil. So, we got karma and hell. <laughs> Um, somebody's living in hell, they're chained to a situation, they're codependent, they need to break free. This is a toxic situation. So there could be news of legalities that are coming up for some of you. There's a need for balance. Something is unbalanced here. You notice the scales are not balanced. So there's a need to rebalance things. So these are both universe cards. So the universe may be doing something to bring balance in to a situation. Um, there's definitely a need for balance. There's somebody that is tied to a situation. They are chained. They are slave. They are bound to something that is not good for them. They may have made a decision, you know, that looked really good because this is a card of ego, materialism, lust, and greed. So somebody may have bound themselves to something that looked good, but now, now they're trapped. They're trapped in this situation. They need to uh, remove themselves from the situation, but it's going to take being honest. You know, you have to be honest with yourself. You have, I'm not saying that you're not, but I'm just saying this is about integrity. It's about doing the right thing and being honest and upfront. Um, so it looks like there's karma or justice that is looking at a uh, toxic, unhealthy situation or a greedy individual that chose to go down the wrong path. So, yeah, you know. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, could be dealing with a Libra. This is a decision being made. Somebody is making a decision. They may be making a decision to break free from a toxic situation. That's probably what's going on by the looks of things. Because this is all about power and control. Okay, somebody has wanted to control a, a situation and nobody needs to be controlled. There could be some anger. Here, you know, with the devil next to the justice card, somebody could be angry about a decision that is being made. There could be a contract that is being signed because the, the justice card is about a contract. There could be anger, okay? There could be a, a desire because this is a desire to control. You know, it's, it's maybe somebody else is making a decision and so another person is trying to control the decision. You need to let go of the need to control. This is force. This is obsessed. Obsessed with being in control. We have an unhealthy balance here. Somebody needs to find their ability to balance their themselves and do the right thing. Everything is going to turn out as it should with the Justice card. I mean, karma and the law has no toleration for lies. I don't know if somebody is going to court and there is a decision that is going to be made. Okay, there's obviously, if it's court related... There's a decision that is going to be made. I'm not sure if somebody could end up in, I mean, I'm not sure, but this is like prison. It is. What do we have for Aries? But this is, this is hell on earth. Okay. The devil card is 
when your when your ego gets in the way of your happiness, you know, when there's lust and there's greed and there's materialism, that's not happiness. It's not. It may be superficial happiness, but it's not real happiness. Either way, there's karma that is looking at somebody's behavior. Put it that way. Happiness. Flowers. Fair woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. So, we definitely have a uh, light-colored haired woman here. <sighs> that is making a decision based on her happiness. Or you're making a decision in regards to your happiness with this person. This person is very prominent. This is breaking free. A need to break free from somebody else's control. This is a Capricorn or a Libra or both. Everybody deserves balance. They deserve peace and harmony in their life. They don't deserve to be controlled. They deserve happiness. And freedom. Freedom from toxicity. Freedom from uh, anger. Anyhow, we have, a, we have a woman here that is breaking free. So however that resonates with you. This is like getting out of hell. Swords. It's a painful, stressful decision. It is a painful, stressful decision. There's going to be something that is exposed. There's going to be some exposure this week. This is coming out of denial, seeing things clearly, seeing the truth. After there's been some lies. So there's been some lies. There has. But some sort of truth is going to come out about a false situation. Okay? Okay. There's some sort of truth that is going to come out. Two of Cups. Something about a partnership, a union. Empress may have something to do with a mother. May have something to do with a mother. Um, an absent mother. Um, in the past. This is the past. We have a union where there's been a lack of conditional love. A lack of unconditional love. There's been no growth. We may have somebody here that didn't have a mother, you know, a mother that didn't take care of them. With the Empress reversed, that's a lack of motherly love. But the Two of Cups is about a union, a partnership. The Two of Swords is opening up. Something is about, some sort of truth is about to come out. In regards to a situation that somebody is breaking free from. There is a new opportunity here for love. After there's been a lack of love. Imagine that. So justice will be served. Okay, justice is going to be served. It may have something to do with a child. You know, a mother and a child. You know, I feel like there's been a lack of love. But there is an opportunity for love here. And love is what matters. So anyway, I do feel like there is a decision that is being made absolutely in regards to, you know, a partnership of some sort. Nine of Wands reversed. Five, but this is the end of a battle. There could be a battle that is still coming. This could be all out war. <laughs> it's a very hostile situation with the Five of Swords reversed. 
but there could there's definitely going to be something that is exposed this week because we have exposure twice so there's something that has been hidden because the shadow is about hiding things or the devil is about hiding. Somebody's been hiding something. Something is going to be exposed this week that may, you know, uh, put somebody on guard. I mean, the, the nine of wands is somebody that is refusing to compromise, that has a chip on their shoulder, that wants to get their own way, that is very disagreeable, that has extreme pride, that is sitting on a high horse, that doesn't learn from their lessons, and is trying to block somebody from getting the happiness and the peace and the balance that they deserve. So I don't know if we're dealing with a Capricorn or... Um, Libra could be dealing with a Taurus as well, um, but this this is this this Five of Swords reversed could go many different. What, what is this Five of Swords reversed? Now this Nine of Wands reversed is avoiding challenge. There's hard feelings. There's angry. There's going to be some anger here. I feel like somebody's going to get very very angry over a decision that is made, and it may start a battle. It may start a war. It 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 probably could. Could, it, could it, you know, I don't know, the, could, the law could get involved. There could be an arrest. This is not heeding a warning. You know, it's wanting to fight. Some, you know, you, somebody may want to fight to keep control, to be in control. And, you know, it could lead to disaster because that is disaster. The devil is disaster. So I'm not sure what is happening, but there's a need to uh, pick your battles. Pick your battles. Hmm. Two of swords reversed. This is seeing the truth. Lies being exposed. Overwhelmed information. Information overload. Um angry upset somebody is going to get angry they're getting angry over a decision that is being made and wanting to control the situation and they and they could end up you know i don't know i want to say being arrested i don't know why um it could be a battle a serious battle with a with the five of swords reverse next to the nine of wands this is somebody who is unwilling to compromise and wants to fight and wants to win at all costs. Instead of just being happy with the decision that is made. You know, wants to fight. And this fight could end very badly. Nine of Pentacles reverse. So this is uh, a need for discipline. It's a need for discipline. It's a, it's a need to be grateful for what you have. This this is going to cost somebody. It's going to cost them. We have an individual here that is very insecure, very unstable. That wants control. Somebody here wants control. And I feel like they are not being practical. They really don't have the money or the means to fight, but they're going to fight anyway. And it's going to cost them. It's going to cost them very, very much. It is going to cost a price. Yes, definitely. Ten of Swords reversed. Now this, the Ten of Swords reverse is may or may not survive. This is like the worst that, that has happened, okay? This is something coming back from the dead. It's uh, something, this is, this is uh, something happening that is very, very painful, okay? It's very, very painful. This, this could be problems worsening with the Ten of Swords reversed. Problems could get worse because somebody wants to fight. Ten of 
of swords reversed. Extremely painful experience. Hurting. I mean, this could be chronic health problems beyond help. Something coming back from the dead. You know, it died. You thought it was over. It's not over yet. This battle isn't over yet. There is something that is coming back around by the looks of things. You're going to have to make a decision. It's going to be a painful, stressful decision. That's what it is. Right here. Do you want to... I mean, the devil is about control. It is all about ego. It's about control. Do you want to stay in this mindset? Or do you want to break free? Because there's freedom here in a couple different places. You can, you can be free of it all. If you can, you can choose to fight or you can choose to be happy, you know, so there's, there's something about a choice. I mean, this is a major choice right here. You have to make a major choice this week. You're going to be getting some sort of information that probably makes you angry by the looks of things. Cause I see anger here. You may, you may, you ha you're going to have to decide. Do you, do you want to fight or do you want to walk away? Do you have the means to fight? The nine of pentacles reversed. This is going to cost some money. Okay. It's, it's unstable. This is a loss of financial abundance. Somebody could end up behind bars. Just saying, I'm being honest with you. We may have somebody here that wants to protect their mother. This is protection mother that has been abused. So anyhow, I feel as though this is going to be a week where you're going to have to make a decision as to whether you want to continue to fight or you want to uh, find your discipline, your self-discipline to not put in effort to fight with whoever this person is because there's fighting here with both of these cards. This is, this is refusing to compromise. I feel like this is a painful, stressful decision. You know, you can choose to fight and, and lose because it feels like it's a loss to me. It feels like it's a, it's a, a battle that you don't win. And I, and I hate to say it. Or you can choose to... Uh, just be happy. You can choose to just be happy. You know? of swords reverse is nothing left to prove unless you've got so if you've got something to prove it this could end up in court something could end up in court it could end up in court where somebody you know if they've been lying there's some lies here and they and they end up in jail this is like i don't know what is this extremely painful this is a very this is sorrow this is like look at all the skulls it's like dying alone um <laughs> ten of swords reverse this is this is a opportunity to break free from a painful situation if you choose you have to choose happiness. You have to choose not to fight. That's your choice. Look deep. Look deeper. Because the devil is all about the shadow. What you what you see on the surface is not what you what is not the truth. What you see on the surface is not the truth. So 
So anyway, Aries, I feel like you're going to be dealing with somebody this week that is breaking free because we have freedom right in both of these cards, okay? There's an opportunity for liberation and freedom. Somebody is breaking free from a an environment that has controlled them. And they're doing it because they want to be happy. Don't try to stop them. There'll be consequences for doing so. Three of Swords, painful, painful heartache, painful separation. Suffering, we definitely have some suffering. There could be some heart problems here as well with the Three of Swords. This is a painful separation. Somebody is hurting. They're going to be hurting over something. Hurting that somebody is leaving, that they're walking away. They're going to be feeling the pain. Not happy at all. But there's a need to have strength and find that strength within you to let it go. Restrain yourself. There's an opportunity for peace here with the Five of Swords reversed and the strength on top of it. There's an opportunity for peace and to cooperate. But it's going to be your choice because we have choice here. You can choose to be entitled and fight, or you can choose peace. So the, that's a choice. There's, there's a choice here. So this week, you're going to be making a choice. You're going to get some sort of information that probably makes you angry. You're going to have to, you know, accept it. Accept the decision that is being made and not try to control the circumstances. So anyway, this week I feel like you're going to be uh, seeing something or hearing something that uh, you know puts you in a position as to whether you want to fight this or... Just stay out of it. Good luck.